If you're watching this video, you are likely playing Borderlands 3 and you are interested in playing as Flak. Now they are a very interesting character. Jean-Luc, why don't you give us a real quick idea of who wants to play this character. You want to play as Flak if you are interested in headshot damage, you're interested in having an AI companion that is going to do a ton of damage for you, or if you're into uh, non-binary robots that love asses. That's why I'm here. Asses. And kicking them. Let's get into what Flak's skill tree consists of. Yeah, so uh, Flak has uh, Hunter, Master, and Stalker. And Hunter is very much about Flak just dealing as much damage as possible. It's very focused on crit damage. Master is very much focused on Flak's pets, which I'll get to in a sec. And Stalker is more about um, like a support boosting Flak's uh, health and, and fire rate and stuff like that. Now, as I mentioned, they have pets. Uh, in addition to their three skills, they have three pets associated with each tree. You can technically mix and match. So you could go down one tree and have a pet from a completely different tree. However, the augments on each tree are focused on augmenting the pet associated with that tree. So I would recommend you pretty much stick with the pet associated with that tree. So on that note, which was your favorite tree and what was your favorite pet? So my favorite tree that I went down was Hunter because I really was like, I just want to do as much damage as possible. And it it's all about dealing crit damage and just fighting tougher enemies. Um, like there, there's a lot of cool abilities where it's like when you fight multiple enemies at the same time or you fight tougher enemies, it boosts how much damage you're doing. There are stuff like Galactic Shadow, which uh, increases crit damage, but also makes enemies less likely to attack you. When you're going down that tree, you're focused on being from a distance, using long range weapons, snipers, assault rifles, anything with a scope, uh, because there are, it's all about just like that headshot damage. So if you, if you like headshots, then you want to go down Hunter. It, its final ability, uh, Megavore, is really, really useful. It basically gives a 20% chance that you will do a crit regardless of body part. At, at that point, once you've gone down that tree, you're probably already pretty good at headshots, but it then makes other weapons more viable where you could fire like a machine gun and you could still be doing like crit damage potentially with every shot, which is really cool. With the Hunter tree, the pet is useful, but doesn't feel as important. He would be dying a lot and I'd just be reviving him. And I'm like, all right, you don't seem as useful. It wasn't until I decided to respec and mess around with the master tree that I'm like, the pet makes a lot more sense because the master tree boosts the uh, pet's health, increases like shield damage. It made the pet feel more viable where I like the pet was just doing damage and actually killing people where before it felt like down the hunter tree, he was just kind of there to like get shot at while I could then shoot them. Uh, he was more like cannon fodder where with a uh, uh, master, he's actually like a useful companion. But what you're giving up is that you yourself aren't as powerful and you're, and you're really focused on the pet. I think there, there's a good balance where you could combine those two pretty well, where you yourself could be doing lots of crit damage from a distance and you can have the master tree where your pet is getting in up close and attacking. There's a, a really good uh, guard slag is the um, ability for the master tree and you actually teleport your pet where the enemy is and like they explode. So you can like teleport them from a distance right into the action and then they can be in the middle just messing shit up and then you can be way off in the distance with your sniper rifle just like picking people off. And that's a really good way to like combo those two trees together. The final tree, Stalker, is in my opinion, the least useful is the one I wasn't really focused on. It's all about just boosting health and fire rate for Flak and also Flak's pet as well. But it feels more like a complementary tree that you would use with one of the other ones uh, afterwards. Unless you're really new to Borderlands and you feel like you're just dying a lot, I don't think that is the kind of tree you would want to initially invest in. It does have one really cool ability called uh, Lick the Wounds that you get halfway down, where your pet can actually revive you straight up, which is really useful, especially if you're playing solo. It might be worth get to that point in the tree halfway through, but I would, I would try and focus on the other trees because I think that's really where you're going to get the most use out of Flak. So it sounds like you have to make a choice with Flak between, initially, between crit damage, pet effectiveness, and the ability to revive yourself or escape situations. Exactly, yeah, at least for the beginning. Like once you once you get enough points that you're able to start investing in multiple trees, that's when you can really like, I'm gonna be dealing damage and my pet's dealing damage, or I'm dealing damage and I'm able to heal myself. But uh, yeah, you kind of have to make that choice at the beginning. So it, it's up to you 
personally, I, I took the damage route. I think if you're a skilled player who likes getting headshots, that's going to be the route for you. If you're more interested in having the pet do a lot of the work, I think go down the master tree. So you've talked a lot about fighting from a distance. Mm -hmm. What weapons or weapon brands pair really well with Slack? Jacob's Guns. That is the name of the game there. Anything that is about precision, bolt action, put a scope on it. Revolvers are great. Sniper rifles, obviously. Jacob's Guns have a lot of really good, like the assault rifles will have like these bolt action guns that if you're really good with, you can um, be precise w enough with that you can do headshot damage. Even though they're slower than the other guns, the fact that your crit damage is just going to be so high on like the, the hunter tree, you're just going to be doing so much damage that it doesn't matter. All right. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in other Borderlands characters, we have individual guides on all of them, as well as a Witch Vault Hunter is right for you video. That's a great overview of all four together. Thanks for watching.